morning everyone! Today I am going to Disneyland and I'm super excited. I haven't been to Disneyland in eight years and I remember really really liking it but I only ever went once. I cannot wait for the Avengers Campus. I am gonna flip when I see it honestly. I haven't ever been to any of the Star Wars stuff in any Disney. I haven't been to Hollywood Studios since that opened. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very very excited so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be wearing and we still have a couple of hours until we have to leave our hotel room, but I'm just gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna have an awesome day, so let's go see my outfit. So here is my Disney outfit. You can't see the shorts because I put it all on one hanger, but I will show you guys in a minute when I put it on. But I also have, of course I brought it, um, but I need to glue it. We brought a hot glue gun so that I could glue it and secure the horns before it was just like velcro with a sticky back and that just fell off as you can see so I will be securing it permanently. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get it home but it's important to have it together for actually being at Avengers Campus. So yeah that's another project but we're going to go to breakfast first. Okay here is the outfit. I'm just wearing these green shorts that I thrifted, this Loki top from Hot Topic and then my sneakers and here is the finished hot glued product. I will put it on. I am just getting all my stuff ready to go. Put this on, hopefully it doesn't hurt my face. <laughs> but yeah, let's head over. So I just did web slingers. I got like 200,000 myself. That was such a fun ride. I had a lot, a lot of fun with it. And the wait time wasn't too long because we just ran right in here straight from the gate. But now I think we're gonna go over and do Guardians of the Galaxy because that tower looks so awesome and so different from what it used to look like. So I think that'll be really, really cool. And yeah, I just, I'm so obsessed with this Avengers campus. It's just like, coming home, honestly, so let's head over and do Guardians of the Galaxy. Soren and I had to take off my Loki horns because they're making my face hurt and I got spray paint on my face from them so that's something I have to address but I've been getting a lot of like whoa looks like this girl pointed at me and she told her mom look a superhero so I think that's pretty cool but yeah we're waiting for Soren cars next then Incredicoaster so we got in line for the Incredicoaster and then promptly heard thunder after like two minutes of being in line. So 
we've decided not to do that. It is clearing up a little bit and they did stop the ride for like a minute, but I don't really feel like riding a roller coaster during a thunderstorm. So we're gonna wait for that. It has been like dripping rain just a little bit, but it's welcome. It cools it down and there have been clouds for a decent amount of the time we've been here. We did go on Soarin' and we got to skip like 50 people in line because they were looking for a group of two, which was awesome. Kind of what we have left to do in California Adventure before we go over to Disneyland is Incredicoaster, Cars, and then we wanted to also do Guardians of the Galaxy again because that was just awesome. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're definitely not waiting 120 minutes for Cars, so I'm just going to figure it out, hang out for a little bit, um, take a little break, find some food, and then we will continue to go find some rides to go on. We're just walking into Galaxy's Edge right now and this place is so cool. Like I haven't been into any of the Star Wars lands in Disney and this is just like, ugh, so neat. So I think we're going to do Smuggler's Run. We came back to the hotel room to rest a little bit. We had been in the parks for like over eight hours, so I'm pretty tired, but we just had some dinner and now we're going over to VidCon to get our passes. Then I think I might go back to Disney because it's not that far of a walk. There are a couple rides I want to do and some that I might want to do again if the wait times cooperate. Hopefully I will have enough energy to go back. That would be nice, but yeah, I'll let you guys know. So I decided to stay in the hotel for the night just because the wait times are not going down and it's like getting to be 8 p.m. So it's a little late to go over there. But I had a really awesome day, especially the first part of it when we went over to Web Slingers and Mission Breakout. I think Mission Breakout is one of my absolute favorite rides ever now. So I can't wait to get to ride that again someday. But it was a really awesome day, honestly. Um, Got to go on a lot of cool rides, some new rides, and some rides that I had been on before. There were just a few that I didn't get to ride that I wanted to go on. One of them was Rise of the Resistance. I thought it would have been cool to go on Star Tours and Hyperspace Mountain, but I didn't get on those this time. Oh, and Indiana Jones. I've heard that's a really cool ride too. Make sure to come back for the rest of my trip vlogs and let me know what your favorite rides are at Disneyland and California Adventure. Also, I conquered my fear of going upside down on roller coasters. I did the Incredicoaster, which was super fun. Proud of myself for that. Hopefully I will be 
going on more roller coasters soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for the day at California Adventure in Disneyland. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getatarsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!